Hallelujah. When we open up our Bibles to Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, I tell you it's so exciting when you read that verse. It's so exciting. In Ephesians 3.20 in the message version it says, God can do anything, you know, far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. God can do even more than you can even think and imagine. Much more. Don't limit God with your limited understanding. Don't limit God with your limited perspective of life. Don't limit God with your dreams, small that they are. You see, God can give you much more than that. Much more than that. Let me say that again. God can give you much more than you can even ask, think, imagine or dream. Much more. But the second part of that verse, it says he does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us, his spirit deeply and gently within us. So how do we see the big things of God? How do we see the big God that we have work amazingly around us? Is when we let him work within us. You see, the problem with us is we want the outside. We want, we want amazing blessings on the outside. We want all the best job. We want that big dream of us to be fulfilled. But God is saying, is you, you let me work on your inner man. You let, you let me touch you in your heart, in your soul, in your mind. Let me change you on the inside and you will begin to see what big things I can do on the outside. You see, God wants big things for you. He's got bigger plans than your dreams, bigger things than you can imagine. But he will first begin it by touching you on the inside. When we look into the life of Joseph, God had big plans for Joseph, right? He had big plans. Joseph may have not even thought that he would become second in command of Egypt. But before he could give him that big plan, before he could lift him up so high, God had to first touch the inner man of Joseph. You see, God always works in that manner. He will work on the inside to transform the outside. What we want is we only think of the outside. Today, I want to challenge you. Let the big God that we serve touch your inner man that you will then begin to see bigger plans and bigger, bigger than your imaginations come to pass. You see, don't limit God. God's potential is limitless, limitless. What he can achieve in you and through you is limitless. The only thing is you have to yield to him and let him work on the inside. Shall we pray? Father, we just ask you to touch each one who's watching. Each one. Help us to submit to you. Help us to yield to you. Help us to give ourselves into your hands. That as you touch our inner man, we would be transformed on the outside. We believe God that you have big things for us. We believe God that you will to do amazing things. Much bigger than my dreams much bigger than my plans. We believe God. And that's why today we just surrender ourselves to you and ask you, work on the inside. Touch our inner man and transform us that we would begin to see bigger things on the outside. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.